if you are a blogger or influencer or you just want to get start with it then this video is for you hey guys welcome back to the another episode so today we're gonna talk about how a blogger makes money or how a influencer whether it's an instagram influencer facebook influencer or a tiktok or tiktok celebrity or the twitter celebrity how these people makes money what are the type of the streams or the income streams they make money out of it so whether it's a blogger or whether it's an influencer it's all come to the one basic point that how many income sources they create just because of they they have personal branding or they have some influencer capacity so whether it's so whether you are a newbie or whether you want to get start with this video is gonna help you a lot you, you can decide how you can convert your profile or you can convert your blogging journey into making money making money machine i can say obviously it depends upon your hard work but today i'm going to share a, a different types of option whether how you can convert your blogging niche or the influencer niche or the in, in instagram profile to the profitable business before getting started you have to audit yourself you have to audit your profile you have to audit your audience you have to know where your audience lies what type of audience you have and what type of audience you want when you then about your blog also whether it's SEO friendly and everything so you have to do audit of yourself that how much capacity you have how much you are ready to invest so equivalent when you do the audit you realize that how much equivalent amount you can charge so ultimately trading your audience into trading for your money so trading your audience to the money so this is why you need have to do your audit yourself once you done once you have done that then you just have to put your gun in the right direction and shoot it the first way to make money as a blogger or as an influencer is by the affiliate program so different different big vendors different web websites they do have their affiliate program if you know that amazon have its own affiliate program flipkart have its own affiliate program so someone when comes to your profile or someone buys from your link you get some sort of permission so as a book book blogger i get a very very small amount of commission from the amazon or flipkart but yes do if they purchase something bigger like the iphone or cameras obviously i do get a huge commission out of it but the affiliate program is something you can start from the beginning also it's not a very hard so there are different types of website websites you have to search for it but the amazon and flipkart these are the two preferred by everyone and after that big vendors like the bave kufiana or the soul the, the soul stores or different big vendors or the brands they they do have a affiliate program so when you say when you say come across something like save 20 or ronak 20 this type of coupon codes they big influencers use so it's because when you use that code you that influencer or that particular person get some commission or whatever you purchase from that brand or that vendor so affiliate is something you can get it's like a building a bridge between that brand and audience and different types of purchase happens and after for that purchase you get some type of commissions so i personally work with the different types of uh, different types of affiliate programs i have personally working with amazon flipkart and a lots of brands also so it's not a big deal you can start you can start pitching to the different brands for your affiliate programs or you can start with the amazon also but what matter is consistency first you have to do your audit unless people come to your website they unless people visit your website you will not convert any out of it and if sale won't happen then the probably the brand will think about you and maybe they cancel your subscription or they cancel your affiliate program so if you don't want to happen that then you have to stick to your audience you have to understand your audience really really well so first do audit that's why I, that's what i told you in the beginning you have to do audit of your audience the second thing any blogger or influencer do if they have website or if they have some blog site where they write a lot of stuff they share a lot of stuff with their world whether it's their product whether it's what type of books they read or whether it's any small incident from your their life so if your blog is good have good wrong ranking in the google they have most visitors then you can start sponsored blog post like no, what the thing is you don't have worst first you make sure you have a legit legit blog unless if you obviously most of the most of the book bloggers they have sort of free blogs they go for the wordpress or the blog blogspot.com i used to do it for free uh, obviously i used my free website in the starting point now i shifted to the ronakblog.com you can go and google for it i have developed by myself so 
runablog.com which is something the website i converted from the free to uh, free to the paid obviously i it's important to buy domain and hosting it to make it more feasible to or to make it more legit blog so sponsored blog post is if your blog has re, blog reach had something really good amount where your blogs get a uh, daily thousands of visitors then you can go for the sponsored blogs blog post so if any author approach me to write something on their blog so i personally say that it's important to have a blog for them because see what happens is when author, when someone search for the book they go search on the google so if you are ranking your website for the first place and you have written something good stuff out of it there are chances that you will get converted the, you will obviously you you will have a great conversion rate from your website so this is the second second three second income source you can think about it as a influencer as a blogger or if you have a good website i will suggest you to go for the buy a domain build a website and start putting continuous continuous post on it so ultimately rank your website in the google so you will you can you can think about the sponsored blog post as your second income source so just like a sponsored blog post there is a sponsored social media post also if you have audited your audience really really good then you can think about the brands or think about the posts that your audience will like so you can approach to that uh, like the brands whatever their product they have they want to know audience like if they want to know everyone that this type of products that brand or that vendor have so they ask any influencer if they have some good instagram profile or good twitter profile to promote their product so for posting that type of the stories that type of the post we charge from that i mean literally any blogger ask any blogger or the big influencer who have millions of followers they charge for it so this is called as a social media sponsor post so any so for that you have to raise your audience to a next level or you have to have some legit audience if you want to do into social so sponsored social post so whether it's sponsoring it to the stories or whether it's promoting through your post or whether it's it's in a blog so we already talked about the box so same happen in the social media also this is known as the sponsored blog post it depends on your engagement rate it depends on a lot of factors that how audience is you are treating you or how the real audience you have all these factors come in the social media sponsor the fourth thing is you can become a brand ambassador for some brands or some any vendors from like there are different types of if we talk about the audible we, if we talk about the storytell there are different types of uh, applications available you can become their ambassador and they give you a special link and if anything happens to that anything goes through that link you will get some commission so you become the like brand personality your your personality become that brand image out of it so you can think about it but in starting it's really hard to be a brand ambassador you have to have some real real big audience to become a brand ambassador once you have it brand they directly approach to you they send you mail and the conversation happen and you can close the deal there so this is another thing of the income you can think about it you will get obviously you get paid for that to become a brand ambassador also another thing is go to the webinars or events like there are a lot of events happening in your in your area or india whatever it is or there are some people who do webinars so you can approach if they have a good amount if you, sorry if you have a good amount if you have knowledge to that if you are expert in that subject then you can go for the webinar and events Uh, what happens is when you are doing a lot of stuff on the social media you get noticed a lot of people so if they some any organization is happening and uh, organizing a event then they then they directly call you for that event for for that webinar so you can think about the charging for it so i personally don't charge for the any educational webinar so whether it's educational purpose then i never charge for it i just say for the traveling allowances other than i never charge for the educational webinar out of like everything is free under the education i believe that education is important part of everyone life and you can think about it it's purely depends on you that how many information you have or how you have to go with it but i personally believe that education is something it should be the free of cost and what to what they do with the education is up to them but our primary job is to the give education for free the last but not the least 
the part is you can launch your own product if you have good knowledge if you have if you know your audience really well then you can start thinking about your own product like currently i am working with the uh, financial course uh, there are actually three courses coming in this year or probably next year and two books i am writing uh, the one is obviously the non fiction and one is probably on the freelancing journey so i'm going to writing those books so ultimately these are the products i'm launching by myself because i have gone through it i have knowledge of it and i have done uh, several jobs in that field so launching your own product you think you can think about it when you have when you become expertise in that typical area so you when you become that expertise you can write your own journey or you can uh, document your own journey and you can sell it sell it for the audience because obviously when people admire you or when people follow you they obviously they think that they should be like you so you can record everything and you can sell your own product so this is was currently i'm working on the two three courses and two three two books also i'm not sure when they are going going to be in the market because i'm not consistently doing it but probably i can i'm putting uh, some time to write that book or so i'm putting some time to launch that course so i'm not sure when that will be up but i'm definitely tell you when that will be up so these are the some things i do but before we end this course i would love if you love this video or if you're watching till this then please subscribe to the channel share with every blogger that they are whether it's a newbie or whether it's experience share with them they can think about a lot of things and do let me know how you monetized your passion or how you're working with your passion have you converted into your profession or not i would love to help you and if you have any query put me in the instagram i will mention the link in the uh, link in the description go follow me on the instagram see you in the next video